Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Engine. So if you remember last video, we um, begun the hunt for life in the big wide universe, well specifically in the Milky Way um, at the moment. And yeah, we, we, came, we came across some interesting worlds, some of them having life, some of them having not. But we're going to be continuing the journey today and just seeing what we'll find out there. And maybe we'll run into some objects with life as well. well that's um, the main goal of this as well so we're going to be hunting around seeing what sort of systems we can find and yeah see if we can find any different types of life because i know there is different like we did see last time so i think we found two different types um of life we found the unicellular and then i think we found some organic multicellular or something as well so um, let's see if we um what other ones we can find so we're going to go ahead and begin so we're back in um, the Milky Way um, as we were last time, so we've got plenty of places to start. We don't know where the sun is. We could be absolutely anywhere. Um, obviously, you can see we're inside the galaxy right now. So I'm just going to start clicking around, and we're just going to start heading to some objects. So, oh, and I've already clicked on one with six objects with life. But the one, the one thing I want to do as well, all the objects we found last episode, they were all objects that were moons. We haven't actually found any planets themselves, apart from Earth, obviously. The Earth's the only planet that we've found so far. Well, it didn't really take much um, time to find, but um, yeah, Earth's the only object we've came across that is a planet with life. All the other objects in the last episode were all moons, so I want to try and see if we can find some planets. But anyways, here is our next system. So this has got six objects of life. How many? Is this like a quad? There's even there's five of them. It's five stars. Wow, okay. So here we go. So that's a star. A lot of those. So, okay, so this one's got some life. Okay, so all the ones that are green, they have objects of life. So we're going to go ahead and... So we want to go on there. So does this what? So what's going on around here? We need to head to. Because that's a, that. Oh, am I going all over the place? No, we want. Yeah, we want these. Okay. So we'll see. So this has three with life. This one has five. Okay. So let's go to this one then. Okay. So here are our objects. They don't look very friendly to life, I have to say. But let's go ahead and see what we um, can find here. So right, how are we doing? Okay. So this apparently has life around it. But it looks like they're actual planets this time, so that's an improvement. So, okay, where are we? So, we'll go to the first one. Okay, so this has got a unicellular um, aerial, so that's a different type. So, okay, interesting. Okay, well, so this is, um, so this this has a, I guess this is a mini Jupiter, so we've actually got a gas giant this time, um, which really does make things a little different. Okay, let's just decrease the exposure so we can sort of get a better look here. But yeah, here is our object. So, yeah, it's pretty much just a gas giant. I mean... First gas giant we've um, discovered in this series um, with some life on it. I mean, uh, I know it's uncellular. I think that's the lowest level, but I mean, life's life's right. And we found some at this gas giant, so I'm guessing they'll be up in the higher cloud levels and stuff. But yeah, there we go. So that's our first object. Then we got the second object here. So this one is again same exact um, type of life. I'm guessing this is also going to be. Uh, also, this is a mini Neptune this time. So we've gone from a mini Jupiter to a mini Neptune. Okay. So I've got a slight difference here. Obviously, it's going to appear slightly differently um, as well. But yeah, there it is there. So uncellular. Okay, this one doesn't have anything. And then the last one is... Oh, because this one's we've got multicellular. Okay, so we've got three different types. So yeah, we had... And so those are both the same, sorry. And then we've got this one. But this one is like a legit, like... Well, okay, this is a terrestrial object as well. Wow. And this time, no moons. These are all planets. So yeah, very, very big improvement over last time. But look at this. It's... a Earth-like world by the looks of it. I mean, hot marine Earth of life. Um, let's check the stats on this. So, so it's pretty large, actually. By the look, oh, no, that's a distance. Sorry. Now, where, where are we? So, physical. Yeah, I'm not the most uh, use of space engine. So, okay, so mass. Uh, where are we? Or oh, radius diameter. Okay, so eight thousand. Okay, so it's. I think it's a little smaller than Earth diameter. So half of eight thousand seven hundred, about four thousand three, four three fifty, four thousand three fifty. So that's, that's around the Mar Mars, Venus sort of size, I'd say. So there we go. So it's, um, around that sort of Earth-like size. Let's put the uh, exposure back up. So there we go. So it's very, very bright here. Let's actually uh, try and land on the surface here. So we're gonna go ahead and pause. Let's slowly start to yeah, and we're gonna enter. Here. So let's just see what sort of object we've got below the clouds here. So how are we doing? So Space Engine's obviously got loaded it all up. So how are we doing here? So here is the surface of a world of multicellular. So look at that. I mean, honestly, if you just look at the sky, I mean, that's pretty pretty Earth-like blue sky we've got going on there. So yeah, not bad. So pretty cool. And I believe there's also that we saw some oceans. It's mostly mountains by the looks of it. Yeah, there definitely were some oceans hovering around by the looks of it. So yeah, there we go. So we can see there's this is a constant... We've got some different lakes and rivers and things, but yeah, we can see there's a volcano by the looks of it. Is that a volcano there? It looks like a mountain of some kind. Is it a volcano? No, it looks like a regular mountain. Okay. 
So let's just try and actually land uh, smoothly somewhere. I'll see the area's all got to load in. But yeah, here we go. So okay, how, how are we doing? So yeah, very, very plain at the moment. I know I don't have my settings turned up. But if I do, the game won't be able to handle that very well. But yeah, there we go. So we can see there's some water going on here as well. But yeah, very, very cool indeed. So that's a proper light. I, that is definitely the closest thing to Earth we have found so far out of all of the objects we visited. So, yeah, because first of all, the, all the ones last half, so they were just like cold, frozen worlds. The previous two there are gas giants, but this is like a proper marine earth with life. Like you can see there, marine earth. It's got earth in the name, right? I mean, that helps. Um, so, yeah, pretty decent world we've got right here. Pretty good find, I have to say. So... Yeah, there we go. I don't know if we'll be able to top that this episode, but yeah, that is a very, very good find um, so early on in the episode there. So yeah, really, really cool stuff there. But anyways, let's continue now. So that was the first star. So this is a Wasp C. C. So now we're going to head to Object D. So this also has three with life. Okay, so interesting. So let's go... So yeah, let's go over to here. So there we go. So these are the worlds this time. Got some... Oh, wow. Okay, these ones look interesting. Okay, so let's just go to the star first. Right, so it's a red dwarf. Okay, so I'm guessing that's um, pretty useful. So there we go. We'll put an orbit mode on just so we can see um, everything there. So there's our system. Right, okay, so we'll, we'll head to all the objects. Though. So this is the first object. So a hot mini Jupiter sitting close to the um, red dwarf there. Obviously, what do you expect from a gas giant? That's pretty much just a hot ver a hot Jupiter um, right there, or mini Jupiter. Right, then the next object out. Here we go. So this is organic multicellular marine terrestrial. We've got another terrestrial object. Oh, look at this. Okay, I mean, I don't know if we were going to top the one the one we previously saw, but this one's already looking very promising. The other two look pretty blue and terrestrial-like as well. So we have found a really, really good find so far. And also, you can find this uh, system for yourself, I believe. You can just literally just search up this star system. So if we just go, so this is the HD28 WASP AK4 um, free system, so triple I. So uh, I believe if you're in the uh, Steam version of Space Engine, you should be able to find this system for yourself if you want to check it out. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, really, really, this is a really, really good start to um, the episode finding this this quick. So here it is here. But this is a this is a really cool looking object as well. So how, how's this one? So uh, diameter looks a little bigger. It's around four thousand in radius. Then we are in miles, remember, not kilometers. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, really cool find. Let's let's definitely land on this one. So. Just slowly uh, enter the atmosphere here. Apologies for any lag, but I know the recording system isn't the biggest fan of Space Engine. Okay, so how are we doing? But yeah, we d I just saw a purple ocean that just sort of disappeared there. So where did that go? Look at the look at the land. Wow, this is a pretty cool looking world. It's not customized or anything. We literally just came across this. So wow. Okay, so wh where's some of that ocean? I want to get to that ocean. Look at this, red oceans. Wow. Whoa. Okay. It says our star, but. Look at that. So if we click play, I'm assuming this will move. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Just to slow it down, just so we can enjoy it. But, wow. Red oceans? What is this made of? Just red water, I guess. I mean, oh, that is cool. Oh, we got to make a thumbnail with this. Look at that. Wow, that actually looks really cool. So, wow. That is a really cool find, finding this. I mean, that is awesome. Oh, water disabled. Oh, I just turned the water off. No, how do we turn the water back on? Didn't want to do that. I click, must have clicked something. There we go, water. So, yeah, that is water then. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. So, there's our star. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, I'll definitely come, be coming back here for making my thumbnail, that's for sure. Um, it's like, yeah, this is awesome. Look at the ocean. So, if we turn water on and off, so that's it. So, all of that purpley pink stuff, this is all water. Wow. This is really cool checking this out. Wow. It's good to be back with Space Engine doing these again. These are fun. So. Let's actually, let's actually go land down here. So let's just get a closer look. So this would be a beach or something. We're near the ocean here. Of that very purpley. And obviously as we get closer it will change. But oh, this is cool. That's a really interesting coloured ocean. Oh, very interesting. Look at this. That's a really, really cool view. I really, really like this. That's a, I think that's even cooler than the previous one we found. Proper um, alien sort of world there. It's also got life on it as well. Really, really cool stuff. So, yeah, there we go. But let's head back to our... Uh, right, so the next planet out is this one. So this is a super Jupiter. See, no life here. But it's very, very bright. I mean, let's get the... Uh, look how bright this is. Oh, this must be glitched or something. Look at this. What is going on here? I'm guessing it's got just a super duper atmosphere on it. I mean, maybe we could customize it and try and... So, atmosphere. If we just... None. So, that's what it's actually like underneath. So, I think it's just the atmosphere on it has gone absolutely crazy for some reason. But, yeah, we'll leave it like that. That's how it should be. 
I'm guessing. So there we go. Now the next planet out. Also, it's got a ring as well. Look at that. Okay, so this one is organic multicellular again. What? Wow, how much multicellular is in here? Wow. I believe that's the Bella one. Um, but yeah, here it is. So we've got another um, bluish Earth-like looking world. We've got some red clouds as well. Oh, that's more ocean-like. Got a very. This one's got a ring though. Look at this. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I could just sit and just explore Space Engine for hours. I mean, there's so many cool things. So we'll get a slow look down here as well. This one's also um, actually diameter. So 5,600 miles. It's a pretty big, um, or pretty, pretty decent size. I mean, more. I guess it's around the Mars Mercury size, this one. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's just try and land. So how are we doing on here? So another. Oh, we're landing in front of a mountain there. But Oh, you can see the ring as well. Oh, yes. Look at that. So multicellular on here as well. Obviously, here's our surface. Really, really cool stuff indeed. Obviously, we've got the mountain over here. So let's just speed up. Or oh, is it a volcano? I think it is. But if it is, it looks like it's an extinct volcano. Yeah, that means the volcano it looks like it's an extinct one. There's no lava pit or magma pit in the middle there. So yeah, really cool stuff there. Wow, so that is a cool, that's a cool volcano there. But yeah, there we go. So that's another um, Earth-like world to add to the list. That's so. Uh, I guess that we can say that's three of them. I know the pink one isn't really Earth-like by in its appearance, but I mean it's probably still got the stats and stuff. But yeah, really cool. And uh, still, it does have life on it. So I mean that is a bonus. So yeah, really cool. But this is this is probably one of the best ones we've found out of the ones we've seen for a while, it's got that ring, that ring really makes it look good. And then the last one, again, multicellular. I mean, that is a lot of multicellulars in the same system. I think the chances of this being in real life, I mean, wow. Finding a star system with this many, uh, or this many multicellular life on all of these planets, I mean, that's quite a high amount. Probably very, very unlikely and very rare to find a system like this, but yeah, there we go. So this is the last object, and again, another um, bluish Earth-like world. So yeah, really cool. This one is also around Mars, Earth, Venus sort of size. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, really, really cool find. So we'll just get the total of all these. So we've also got three amazing Earth-like worlds there. And also, if we go back to the other star, we had the uh, two gas giants, the uncellular, and then we had the other multicellular. So that's four with multicellular, and then two with un or unicellular, sorry. Um, so yeah, really, really, really strong start to today's episode. I mean, that is amazing how many we've found. So yeah, really, really cool stuff indeed, man. This star, six with life. Yeah, six with life on this guy. I mean, that is that's a, that's a really cool system. And also, if you want to check out the systems for yourself, that's the name of the um, star right there. So HD28 Wasp A. So yeah, really cool. But anyways, we're going to leave that star for the time being. Let's continue into the galaxy. So we're going to just click around, see what else we can find. So let's continue. But yeah, really, really cool start. Looks like, is this Orion's belt we've came across here? Looks, It looks quite similar. I mean, it may just be a coincidence of three stars in a row, but that, to me, that looks like we got, that, that definitely looks like a, I mean, if we, yeah, no, no, that definitely is. Because if we rotate it, there you go. That is definitely, so I'm guessing we've got Beetlejuice there. That is, yeah, and then we've got Raiju up here. Cool, we found, um, we found Orion's belt just chilling in the Milky Way. But yeah, there we go. So obviously, if we change our direction, the whole constellation gets completely ruined. But it's cool. We managed to just sort of come across that. So um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you always remember the three stars and the line. Oh, we have a system with life here. Let's check that out. So white main sequence star. How are we doing over here? So one object with life. Where are we? So here's our system. So let's get a line up. How do, how do we do the chart mode? Is it this? No. That one. Is this the chart mode? There we go. Okay, so here's our... Here's our so we can move. Okay, so here's all of the objects. Oh, this chart mode is cool. It shows all the moons. Yeah, imagine if Universe Sandbox did that. That'd be really cool. So, anyways, um, that's no, I want to go back to chart mode. Actually, I want to explore all this. So, oh, you can change the mode of it as well. But so, right here, are our oh, yes, is um pretty pretty weird. Use doing this in Space Engine. So how are we doing? So here are our here are our objects. This is cool. I like this. So number ten is the one with life. There's no number 10 here. How do we get to number 10? But yeah, there we go. So there's all the planets. That 5A one, look at that. Mega Neptune. Oh, that looks very nice. So, okay, so 5A, okay. So there it is there. Did we click on the wrong star system or something? So, there we go. Okay, let's just get out of that. So where are, okay, so we're back around here again. But this one's got one with life. I don't know what that system, the HIP, this is, that's a completely different star. How did we get there? It's got that cool gas giant, but no life. Right, so this has got 12. So the one with life was the 10th one. So there's number 10. So let's show the chart mode actually once. So no, now, yeah, here we go. So this is what we want. So this is the one with life here. So number 10. We can't actually click on it. But yeah, there we go. So that's that's the object we're going to be heading to. Look how many moons all these guys have. Look at all this. 
That's cool. Right, so now we're going to head to number 10. So, uh, where are we? So, this has got... Oh, this has got a moon. Okay, so one of the moons. Because we've got a moon around this one. So, not a planet. All right. So, where's our moon? So, moons... Okay, so it's the last moon out. So, it's this one. So, this is a uh, multicellular, again, subglacial. So, there's so many different types of multicellular um, there. So, we've came across a good three, four different ones this episode. So, yeah, really cool... Um, stuff so far but yeah pretty much like the ones from last episode it's more of a generic sort of rocky looking world there's no water or anything it's just a frigid yeah frigid frigid earliest mini aquarius uh, so yeah very um basic looking one but yeah still cool find we found one with life so there we go so we, we've done very well today wow I'm, I'm impressed i mean that first system we came across i mean that was awesome so yeah there we go but let's con let's continue now so let's close that right so let's just start uh let's just yeah, pick, let's pick up the speed a bit more Let's just, yeah, there we go. So let's really pick up some speed. So I'm going to start clicking around, see what we can come across. So still in the Milky Way. So yeah, we're Milky Way. Maybe slow it down a bit more. But yeah, we're, we're heading towards the center of the Milky Way here, I think. So you're yeah, right. Let's, maybe it would be cool if we could find a, um, a planet or a moon with life close to the very center. So let's try and get sort of... Actually, I, I don't know where the center is. I mean, let's just... Okay, so there's the Milky Way. Okay, so let's try and head really close into the center. So somewhere in the sort of a very, very local area. I mean, it's quite a lot of stars in here. So, I mean, if we just look at... Oh, my God. Okay, so if we just look around, that is a lot. Actually, what I want to try is, if we go to Sagittarius A, let's try and work our way from over there. So, here, here it is. So, we're in the center. All right, so the Milky Way center here. So, obviously, very, very bright stuff. Very, very big and powerful here. So, and it's got a low these star. I mean, look at the cluster of just stuff around the center of the Milky Way here. And if we zoom out, there you go. So, it's pretty much in the dead center there. But will one of these objects have life on them around one of these stars? Well, one of these stars may... Let's have just turn the orbits off. One of these has got to have an object with life, right? I mean, look how many there are. I mean, I don't know about in reality, but in the game, maybe. I don't know how it all spawns and stuff, but... Let's just click around on a few of these. Is there, there must be one. Look, can we actually click on these? No? Click on them. Let me click on them. Can I not click on these? Are they not accessible? Well, I want to I click on one of these. No? Doesn't seem like it wants me to... Are they not like physical objects or anything? Might be quite hard to try and get to one of these. Wow, I'm not travelling very fast. These these objects are very... We're travelling at 0 0.08 light years, but look how fast we fly past all of these. These stars are in very, very close proximity to each other. So, yeah, pretty... I mean, we're travelling the astronomical units now, and we're still travelling these objects... Like, we're still travelling fairly quick. They're all moving across the screen. So, yeah, these are very, very close together. But, yeah, let's try and approach this um, yellow one here. So I'm not sure that's actually what I'm clicking on. So this one's a little further out. Can we actually click on the thing though? So, because I'm, I'm clicking on it right now. So S85, is that, is that really what this is? So yeah, there it is there. So let's just really slow it down now. I think it, it definitely looks like it's a physical. So, oh, okay. They're all, they're all count as moons, I guess, of the black hole. I don't, I don't know, understand how all this works. So if we... And then, so we can travel to it. Okay, so we can sort of see... We can just scroll through them all then and just see if there's any with a green tab on it. But by the looks of it, they don't even have planets. So, uh, yeah, there's no planet. It doesn't look like there's planets at all around any of these. So we'll just we'll leave that center cluster of the Milky Way. But what if we just sort of head a little further out? So just to disable that. So if I just start clicking around this local area, around that big cluster in the middle. So maybe, maybe we'll find something... Still a little closer. I mean, no, I'm not really sure. Let's just we'll move a little, move a little faster. So, come on, come on, just find more of life. Come on, sixteen. Because I could just click on a star. It's like at the other end of the galaxy. Is not I mean, I could, I could just leave this area. But it would be cool. Imagine just seeing that in the night sky. I mean, if we just head to one of these low. I mean, we can travel a fair distance. You can still see that giant cluster in the middle there. So, just see if we can. Trying. There's got to be one. There has to be one star with any type of... Oh, I just clicked on one and it's gone. No. So, there we go. I have to skip that, unfortunately. But I want to I wanna land on one of these planets and see that cluster in the sky. I mean, how cool would that be? Just seeing all of that. So, don't forget, there's a black hole in there as well. So, that'll make it extra, extra pretty cool. Very, very bright stuff going on there. Oh, I found one. Where are we heading? Oh, it looks relatively close to the... Um, so the cluster, can I, can we stop moving, please? But the cluster is just there. Oh, we're very close to it. I mean, 
I mean, probably still a good few light years away. We're probably in the hundreds, actually. But I mean, in Milky Way terms, I'd say we're quite close to that. So where's our planet with our life? So it looks like it's it's a moon. Okay, it's a moon. So let's head to it. Okay, so I'm guessing it's probably another boring one then. But Okay, so this is the planet. Then the moons. So it's got two moons, and it's this one. So it's uncellular again, or unicellular, uh, organic subglacial. So it's, it's, yeah, another, another more boring sort of well, but not very boring when you look at that in the night sky so we are definitely getting a look at that so let's just land down here a bit of lag let's just slow it down a bit it's because we've got a lot of stars to load and if we just lower the if we just lower the amount of stars maybe that, that definitely helps so there we go so if we look up still yeah you can see that's awesome so let's just land yeah we'll land on the surface here so there we go so we're on the surface so then if you look up at the night sky you'll just see that i mean that is awesome so we've got a local star there and then you see that. I mean, that. That's a pretty cool sight. Imagine just seeing that in the night sky on Earth. I mean, look how many there is. I mean, that's... And that, that's with lowered settings. If we pull it back up to how it should be. So if we just reset the default. Yeah. We're at the centre of the Milky Way here. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, obviously with Earth, we would have light pollution and stuff. But this object has no atmosphere, no clouds. This is, in theory, probably what you would see. I mean, I don't know how... Um, I don't know how um, close it would be in reality, but I mean, imagine that many stars. I mean, look out! Look how bright it! Look at this! I mean, try counting those. I mean, there's just so many to choose from. I wonder if our sun is one of these. Can we see our sun from here? I mean, that would just be impossible. Let's actually. It'd be cool if we could like show us the exact location of the sun. But if I just search the sun, so what? So, okay. So we've locked onto the sun. Where is it? I mean, so if I just click G. Okay, so yeah, we are. Yeah, there's probably no way that we'd be able to spot the sun from there. I mean, we've got to travel quite far out because the Milky Way, obviously, very large and the sun is nowhere near the center of it. So we're traveling very, very far away to um, the sun right now. So yeah, I don't think the sun is probably one of those stars that was visible. So where are we? And there it is. So that's quite a long journey there. And obviously, we're back in our um, solar system now. So. Yeah, there we go. But we'll head out from the sun again. Let's see if we can find a couple more um, before we finish up today. Let's see if we can try and end it off with another really cool Earth-like one. That's the one like ones we started off with because they were awesome. So let's just let's just start traveling again. Enjoy the stars as they go past, and then see if we can try and find one. So seven, ten, eleven. Come on, give us our planets. Oh, one with life. Ah, I missed it. Ah, clicking so fast here. Just trying to find it. Come on, slow down a bit more. I think we're heading close to the edge of the galaxy. I'm not, I'm not sure. So, if we, yeah, that, that's the center there. So, we're actually leaving the galaxy at the moment. Let's see if we can find one, though. There's still plenty of stars to choose from. Oh, we've got to try and find one. Let's try and finish off with a good one. Come on. Now, I believe you can find life on the levels of Earth on some of these planets as well. So, that'd be interesting to find. I don't know how rare they are, but obviously, the only one I know is Earth. So, yeah, we found loads of other organic multicellular and stuff but to get the exact stats of earth like that exact type of life on another planet i don't know how rare that is so it'd be cool to find one though so actually if we just if we just head to earth so go to actually so the earth the earth is organic multicellular marine terrestrial so i don't think we've had marine and terrestrial in the same object so we found organic multicellular, but I don't think we found marine terrestrial on the same object. So that's, that's our goal, then. We need to try and find organic multicellular on a marine terrestrial world. So how many of those are there in the galaxy? I mean, there must be another. Earth can't be the only one, right? There's got to be more. So that will be our goal for this series, and try and find one of those at some point. I don't know if we'll find it today, but, yeah, we'll have to save it for another episode, I think. So there we go, but let's continue. Come on, we've got to find one more with life. Come on. Oh, one with life. There we go. Okay. So it's a red dwarf system binary. Let's see what we have got here. Right, so. Okay, so here are the objects. Okay, so it's an object number 11. Let's just get a lineup of all of our objects. So here we go. So we've got our two stars, A and B. And then the planets. So we've got object 3 there. Looks pretty uh, pretty um, watery. So yeah, there, that's object 3. So that's um, no, no life on there, though, unfortunately. That's a shame. That one looks quite good. So there's the rest of the planets. So we want to head to number 11. So, good way to view all the planets um, quite quickly doing this. So, here's object 11. So, I'm guessing it's a moon. So, where are we? So, object 11 is here. 
So I'm guessing it's so it's moon number four. So exotic, oh exotic multicellular. Okay, we've not seen one of those before. So there's so many different types. I wanna, I, I wanna try and find a list of all the different types you can find, and we can try and find it, uh, find every single one in the series. But yeah, exotic multicellular. We've not found one of those before. So interesting stuff. Okay, so we're gonna head back to um, yeah, we're gonna head to that, and then we'll finish up. But yeah, object four. Exotic multicellular. Okay, interesting. So this one's got exotic. So a little bit more, a little more interesting here. So very, very, um, very, very cool indeed. Let's just turn that down just so we can see. It. But here it is. So a very boring world, unfortunately. But apparently it's got exotic multicellular subglacial life on here. So pretty interesting stuff. It's very, very cold here at minus 215 degrees. So yeah, very, very strange sort of life to be exotic here, I guess. But yeah, there we go. So interesting stuff. But yeah, that is what we are going to end on today, guys. So hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, oh, had a little like, hiccup or something there. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed um, today's episode of Space Engine, The Hunt for Life. I think this was a really cool one. I mean, those those objects we started off with, all six of them, that was a really, really cool find. Having six of them and having f no four of them with like Earth-like water worlds and stuff, that is a cool find. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm assuming that is probably on the rarer end of um the planets and moon and stuff with life but i think i think that's really cool because yeah this one here's a moon again but yeah those planets we found i think that was a really really good start um for today but yeah guys let me know what you think down below um in the comments on all this and also if you like this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're more help us on the journey to um 13 000 subscribers as yeah we are getting very very close to it and yeah just guys in general as well a massive thank you to all of you for sticking around watching all the videos leaving likes commenting all of the support a massive thanks to all of you there's been a lot of really really nice comments from this year i really really appreciate that guys really really awesome stuff but yeah that is everything so make sure you guys all have a great day if you want to chat with me um, in general about other stuff make sure to join my discord server link in the description but yeah guys with that all out of the way make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye